can deal 8 to him next turn. Oh, 9. I have Lethal if he doesn't deal with this, this, that, or heal. He has a lot of Faria, so chances are that he could do something. <laughs> and yes, the Relic Tower taking them wins. Not Frogify. No, don't Frogify. I'll still have a lot of damage even if he Frogifies. Okay, GG. No. <laughs> Fucking taunt. <laughs> Does he have a treat and banquet still? I think not. Unless he has one in his hand. What do you mean trying? <laughs> yeah, I think this is the play. Do this. Oh. Oh yeah. Uh, ground trick this. So even if he deals with this, I mean this, still have to deal. Don't want to kill the totem, I think. So I'm going to be on 7 ferry next turn, I can get up to 8. Ooh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> well, I still have my yak attack, but I can't play it as long as this one is alive. <laughs> But I can kill it. Maybe I just start cleaning up and try to. Let's think what I can draw. <coughs> I have um, a lot more war yaks I can draw. Mm. One more ranged guy, I think. I'm gonna get at least one more damage here. I'm gonna draw. Yes, that's pretty good. Maybe I should have played my flame spitter. Well, then I couldn't have gotten the tower out. <laughs> Everything I have just one damage. I guess now it's putting on the counter pressure, which is why we have the devouring plants. So this is one damage. This is one damage. This is one damage. This is one damage. Is one damage. And next turn. He can 
kill at least one of these. And I can get in one more. Should have drawn first. I don't know why I always would have. Let's see, what do I have to draw to win? I need to draw another flame spider, and for that I don't need fairy. So I just draw, right? I don't need fairy. What do I need fairy for? I draw. Warrior. Pretty good. One to 40 though. Because he will kill this one since it deals more damage. And maybe place a taunt or something. No. He has Ruin in his hand, so he only has 4 cards. Well, maybe he plays Ruin now. No, not a big taunt guy. Okay, so. <laughs> I have Flame Spider. Flame, flame Spitter. There is one more tower in my deck. I have Yak Attack. Uh, maybe I want to. Uh, Ground Shaker and then just have 9 mana for the kill. I'm not gonna attack this, you know, just gain extra mana, extra Feria. Okay, so now I just need to wait 2 turns. And I should survive 2 turns because I do have my Devouring Plant. Just afraid of heals. Why do I taunt 11-4? Don't you just kill me in two turns then? Yeah, I think I got this. So one Feria. Yeah, so next turn I win if he doesn't heal or kill me somehow. But I have this Let's see how it's gonna heal me. Heal. Uh. Yeah, that would have been pretty good. I just wanted to stay safe because I have so many ping minions. Ah. I really hope I don't lose them because of it. But I don't think so. Is he healing? Please don't heal. Nope. Okay, GG. Should have been fun if I misclicked there. To hit this taunt guy instead. Alright. Back up. GG. <sighs> Sorry to miss my fatigue deck. <laughs> it's been really effective then so far. Um, it deals with yellow rush in multiple ways. I can use my towers to block the block my orb. Use it to remove a lot of their one health minions. And against other decks, it just adds up over time. It's a fun deck. And of course, if you have the Warriox in your starting hand, just go for it.
Revolution. I played with him earlier today, I think. I don't remember what deck he was using. I hope it's not the uh, Vicious Command. It is. I think Revolution is the only one I lost against so far. Or Let me look in chat. Yeah. No, Revolution is not no winning streak. Okay, so. We read from. Uh, what's Alberian Wizard? <laughs> okay. Alright. Here we go. Um, Cause he's gonna play a mountain and he's gonna play the desert. I'm gonna be able to get up in his face. This is good for me that he plays his explorer already. This means. Um, let's see. If I just go straight up here, he's just putting his desert here. If I go here. What does it mean? I have two yak attacks. If you go up here, place this desert here, which allows me to get this spot. And I would have all these three, which is pretty good also. Hmm. Yeah, because I want to have. I want to be in reach of his orb. So as long as he plays a. Uh, Colored land now, which I think you will. Or actually, you might play prairies just so you can get the fairy as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna get these two spots and I'm gonna have my yaks. And yaks are hard to deal with for their. Uh, for vicious control. So if I put them like this, and this one kills here, then I get access to this area. <laughs> so his. Uh, Yeah, this is going to be costly for him to remove. Shocking Sand hits them, but they cost 4. Oh, he's running Punishment, I forgot. Oh, look at that. Oh, I don't have mountains. That's unfortunate. I was thinking about moving this here and then remove the rebel slinger, but I could do that with a plant. But then I gave give him one more fairy. I think it's better to do this. Or no, probably not. These are so easy to remove now. That was probably a bad play. And I won't be able to get to these two next turn. But I can soon yak attack again. No worries. It's all good. If he's gonna spend a lot of his fairy now just removing these and uh oh. yeah, that cost all his fairy and he he should have targeted this one. I think that's a bug with this card, because it says each enemy adjacent to the target, but it also deals damage to himself. Um 